But um, you guys, I'm going to get out of here because I am on lunch break and I have to um, catch up on some work because I was off <clears throat> last last um not i won't i don't want to say last night but basically the second half of my shift yesterday i had to take off because my dog man <laughs> poor dog i wish i could uh turn the laptop so y'all can see him but he's down and the dog got attacked by some pit bulls so <clears throat> well it was three pit bulls we was walking them and um that's why i didn't go live and do the review of ruthless yesterday because i was supposed to do it um yesterday afternoon but while we were out walking on my lunch break my son and i and our dog is a little shih tzu these three pet bulls came running out of this junkyard that's kind of in the neighborhood and normally the fence is locked and the dogs just be barking behind the fence but somebody left the fence wide open all three of the pit bulls came running out. The only way that I think my dog truly survived the attack was because my son had a stun gun that I just purchased, like, not even a week ago. And I purchased it for, you know, when we go out and be walking with the dog. I purchased it because I know there's dogs in the neighborhood. And, you know, I be wanting to walk the dog and go do exercise, you know, with the dog. And so my son was able to keep, you know, two of the dogs at bay, but one of the pits um, managed to get in when my dog, when my son was zapping at another dog and he bit my dog and he has a like bite marks in his chest and they were kind of deep. So we had to take him to the emergency, the pet emergency. Um, they stitched him up. He has like, let me see if I, where my phone? Let me show y'all a picture. Poor little thing. Let me show y'all a picture. I just took a picture of him a little while ago. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. <clears throat> can y'all see? That's him. And if you look kind of over to the right of the screen, you kind of see where they shaved his skin because they had to put a uh, they had to put a, a drain they had to put a drain in him. <clears throat> he was bit in his chest right here by his shoulder, but they had to put a drain uh, so that he could uh, he had like fluid inside and they didn't want it to build any pockets, so they had to put a drain on him. But Here's another picture. I'm trying to get y'all a good pick. Here's another pick. And he has this thing. If you can see, he has this thing around his uh, neck. The little, uh, you know, the thing they put around their neck so that they can't, like, uh, bite their wounds or pull their stitches out and stuff like that. So, yeah. Poor little thing. It was three pit bulls. And like I said, uh, Here's him laying down. I just took this picture a little while ago to send to the uh the boys. Both of my boys are at work. So I took a picture of him laying down. <laughs> but yes, so he he he's going to be uh he'll be okay, but he's in a lot of pain. He's in a lot of pain. He's man when I tell y'all my son was kicking them dogs. He was zapping the 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 zapper and I'm up here screaming and yelling, and the owners finally, I, I don't know if they thought they just yelled and the dogs would come back to them, because they was just standing by the fence by their junkyard just yelling at the dogs, come back, come back, come back. And I'm up here like, come get your dog, come get your dogs. I'm up here like screaming. The neighbors on the, on the block, they came out. It was a hot mess. I mean, it was a hot mess. And then finally they got the dogs. They took them back inside. Um, I called the cops. I called the Humane Society, filed a report, find out the owners had, um, thank God they had all their shots up to date, rabies. They had all that because, of course, the Humane Society looked all the information up, but they didn't have no license. So they got three tickets for no license on the three pit bulls, and they also got three trick 
three tickets for non-restraint or something like that because they couldn't restrain them. They weren't restrained or something. So altogether, they got six tickets uh, for one of their pit bulls biting my pit bull. But yeah, you know how much the bill was? The bill, and that's after talking the peoples down at the emergency vet place, the bill still was $600. It was supposed to be like $800, but I was up there flipping out. I was like, $800? Then, then the people who dogs bit my dog, they said, call them. They will take care of it. You know, they gave us their phone number, their names and stuff. And they said, call. When we called them, after I sent them the bill, why the lady, oh my, I know I'm way off topic on Ruthless, but I got to tell y'all this story. <laughs> why the lady who said that she would take care of it, she um asked me for a copy of the bill. So I sent her the bill. I dropped the dog off so that he can get whatever needs to be done. They have to sedate him, put him to sleep, do stitches, you know, put the, the drain inside and under his skin. And they had to do all that stuff, right? So I go back home, go to the place where the, where the business was to, you know, show the lady the bill and ask for um payment for my dog's vet bills. But she said she wasn't there and she asked me how much the bill was, asked me to send her a copy. So I did. So later I called the vet to see if she called to pay the bill. And they said, well, actually she called and asked, could, um, well, first for one, she pretended like she was me. She called the vet and said, oh, my gosh, the bill is so expensive. Um, could you, like, do something, like, simpler or do something that's cheaper? You know, could you change the treatment to something cheaper? So, therefore, they didn't do the treatment that they had already discussed with me. And I didn't know that she had called them to ask that. She told me she was going to call them to pay the bill. So, then I called back. And I'm like, did this lady call to pay the bill? And they said, well, didn't we already talk to you or something? And you told us not to do the, all the procedures that we said we have to do. And I said, no, I ain't talked to y'all about, you know, altering any of the procedures we had already discussed. And that's when they figured out that the lady had called, the owner of the dogs had called and pretended she was me. So therefore, I had been gone from the vet for over an hour. They have done nothing to my dog. All they did was gave him pain medicine. And they were trying to figure out a cheaper plan, a cheaper alternative to do what he absolutely needed. Because that lady called in pretending that she was me. So I called her back and I said, listen, this is how much the bill is. This is what you got to pay. Oh, yeah, Jewel, I'm already planning to sue. I was going to sue regardless if she paid the bill or not because for the pain and suffering of my dog, my dog can't walk. We have to carry him outside to use the bathroom. He has to stay in front of us at all times. We have to have our eyes on him at all times because one false move trying to run or trying to jump up on something or jump off of something, he has he has tubes in him and stitches and all kind of, he can rip stitches and all that kind of stuff. So we have to keep our eyes on him at all times. So yeah, I, was, I already told my son I'm gonna look up a lawyer and sue that company for them not having the fence lock for their three pet bulls to attack my dog. So um, I called her and she said all she could pay was $200 and she could pay some more uh, in a few weeks. So granted, I wanted to cuss her out, all this kind of stuff, because they told us when the police was there, just call us and let us know how the bill was. Like, did you really think the vet bill for emergency visit was only going to be $200? $200, did you really? Come on now. I knew that the bit, it's more than that. Darn near just to get their annual shots. It's almost $200 to get their rabies shot, you know, <laughs> and get all their vaccinations. So anyway, I, I just kind of remained calm and I said, okay. So then I called the vet back. And they said, yeah, the lady called in to pay $200, but her uh, payment didn't go through. Y'all. So then I called a lady back, the owner of the dog. And I said, hold up. They say your payment didn't go through. So I'm thinking she, she play on me. I'm really about to get irate now. My son's like, man, we just need to go over there. And we'll do, we'll, we'll. I'm like, 
no, we'll just figure out how to pay the bill ourselves. Me and my sons was like, we'll all, even my son who don't live at home anymore, he said, I can help pay, you know, because it's all of our dog, you know, it's their dog, but you know, it's all of our dog. But um, he's like, I'll help pay too. My other son was like, and I'll help pay and we can get it, get the dog taken care of. So anyway, um, uh, what happened? Oh yeah. So I called the lady back and I said, the payment didn't go through. Your payment didn't go through. And she said, well, I don't know what happened. Maybe they put the wrong numbers in. So I said, could you just please call back? I'm still trying to remain calm. Could you just please call back and make the $200 payment that you said you would pay and we can work out the rest later. And so I waited about 15 minutes. I called back to the vet. I said, did the lady call back and pay the $200? They said, yes, she paid it. It went through this time. So it could have been that the vet hospital the emergency, they could have put the number in incorrectly. I don't know. But I sure thought that she was pulling my leg. Because me, I'm like, if you ain't going to pay the bill, just say you ain't going to pay the bill. Instead of playing all these games. So anyway, she paid the $200. Because of them. Uh, waiting to do work on my dog because they thought that lady was me who was pretending to be me. They called their boss. One of the ladies called their boss and they called me back because it was a big issue by then. Like y'all literally had somebody call and say they were me and y'all stopped treatment on my dog who has holes in his chest. And y'all stop treatment on my dog to try to find some cheaper alternative treatment because the other lady talking about that she couldn't afford the bill. And she pretended, she told him, she said, my name is Tanya. My dog's name is this, you know. And, <laughs> and so they thought it was me. So they she called and told the boss everything, explained everything because she felt bad over the whole mix up. So basically what their boss said was, you know what? The lady paid $200. The bill is this much, you know, like six hundred some dollars, but we'll let you pay whatever you want to pay today, and you can pay whatever, whenever, you know, to just pay it off. So I was like, "Oh, really?" So I was like, "Okay, I gave him a couple hundred." And then I said, "I'll pay the rest," you know, next week. But so that's what happened. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sue her. I'm, I'm and I, I, I really don't think she's gonna pay the balance, but I'm gonna sue her regardless because. Not only do I want that bill paid, but pain and suffering and for my dog, for my dog. So, yeah, you said and your dog, it was 500 for your dog and she did not need surgery. See, that's what I'm talking about. She, they, them bills is expensive, expensive. Shoot, it's just like humans going into the, the ER compared to going to your regular primary doctor. You know, we couldn't take him to his primary vet because he needed a merger emergency. You know, he had holes like you could like look down into his chest from those big uh bite marks from the pit bull. You can look in the hole in his chest. And I was like, oh no. Nah. So yeah, it it was it was horrible, but it could have been worse. Like I told the cops, I said if my son didn't have the stun gun that I just purchased less than a week ago for self defense, I said I know all three of them dogs would have shredded my little Shih Tzu to pieces, and probably would have. We probably would be in the emergency room too with bite marks. So you know, thank God we had. If y'all don't have a stun gun, and if y'all can have them in y'all city or state, and it's legal, like it is here in Nebraska, get you one. Cause I sure didn't ever think I would need it. But every time I walked my dog, I would have my stun gun on me, wrapped around my wit, wrapped around my wrist, wrapped around my wrist. <laughs> so yes, I take my stun gun everywhere I go everywhere i go even if i'm going to the grocery store i take my stun gun everywhere but yeah so that that prevented those dogs because every time he zapped at them they would like retreat but then they would come back when he would turn on another dog with a zapper so my son couldn't keep up with him and i'm up here screaming and yelling for the owners of the dogs like come get the dog come get the dog come get the dog but it it was a mess it was a hot Hot mess, but yes. Yeah, so he's 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 looking at me right now. He's just laying there looking like, and then he's doped up on drugs because we got to give him three pills a day to keep him to keep the pain bearable. So he's pretty much walking around here doped up on drugs, looking like this. 
<laughs> so my poor little dog is just mm, beat down. Hey, Miss Natural, you know, Lance, how you doing? <laughs> I done went from telling y'all, giving y'all a review of Roofless to telling y'all what happened, why I couldn't do the Roofless review yesterday afternoon because we was at the emergency with my dog who got attacked by some pet bulls while we were out walking. But anyway, to those of y'all who just came in, um, make sure you like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. 